Boo. <laughs> what up, everyone? Michael B. Betty here. Ooh, Michael B. Betty? Who the fuck's Michael B. Betty? I don't know who the fuck Michael B. Betty is. What up, everyone? Michael B. Petty here. I have a few more unpopular opinions to share with you, and I decided to do a Halloween edition. Ooh, spooky. The almost overused word of October 2018. The word spooky. Since when did the word spooky become, like, such a common catchphrase? Like, I feel like we've used the word spooky in the past, but, like, Honest to God, if I see one more spooky this, spooky that, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. But anyway, I decided to do an Unpopular Opinions Halloween edition. I hope y'all are here and ready for the journey because it's going to be scary, boring, and all of the above. Let's get into it. First unpopular opinion. Jump scares are stupid. I am, okay, I don't mind being scared in general. I don't mind having that fear in my body or going to somewhere that is a little bit eerie and dealing with all that. I despise jump scares. This is probably one of the main reasons why I refuse to attend somewhere like Not Scary Farm or I don't like to go to haunted houses and stuff because I, in my opinion, jump scares are the most cheap tactic used to like get a reaction out of someone. I like to be, if, if anything, I would rather my mind be fucked with. I'd rather, you know what, someone set my, if I put my keys down on a table somewhere, if someone picked them up and moved them to the other table, that to me would be more fucking frightening. Also, there is a rule amongst my friend group or pretty much, and it is that if you scare me or you jump scare me, the my my initial reaction is to throw hands. My initial reaction is to fight. With Tyrone, are you going trick or treating? No, probably. <laughs> So I may not be the best fighter. I may not, you know, it, it is what it is, but I'm gonna throw a punch. So if you come up from behind me or you hide behind a wall or you, you're you on the other side of the corner and you go, ah, and you try to get me, my first reaction is to throw a punch. My first reaction is to scream and throw a punch. So if I do damage, that's on you. And I feel like I am I am not responsible for any of the damages that you incur. That is your actions. You took that upon yourself. You decided to try to scare me. And I have the right to defend myself. It is not my fault that my body went into fight or flight and we decided to fight and scream. So that just is what it is. Opinion numero dos. Not all horror movies are created equally, okay? I am so over the overplay of certain horror movies in the horror genre. I personally... There are certain scary movies that I like and there are certain ones that I don't like. And I feel like the ones that are the most popular are the ones that are just, they, there's no basis. There's no like, oh, the phone's ringing. The, the, the movies that seem to be the most popular, or at least when I was growing up, were movies like Saw or movies like Hostel. Those movies are dumb. I honestly hate those movies. I've gone, I went and saw Saw in theaters, hated it. I went and saw Hostel in theaters, hated it. I decided that torture porn is not for me. I don't enjoy, enjoy torture porn. I don't enjoy watching someone just being fucked with on like such a disgusting level where we're like chopping fingers off one by one. That doesn't do anything for me. That's never done anything for me. It will never do anything for me. I like movies like The Exorcist. My favorite scary movie or horror film of all time is A Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> I like movies that are a little bit more nuanced and like that it's not just a person running around killing people like I don't I'm not a big fan of the Friday the 13th series I don't really care for it the game's really not that good either <laughs> don't buy the game it's buggy as fuck I got it for free on P on PlayStation Plus but like honest to god it's not worth it's not worth thirty dollars, but um yeah I do, I like movies like like A Nightmare on Elm Street I like movies like The Exorcist The Exorcism of Emily Rose is a very good movie I like movies that are like not all about jump scares where there's like a psychological aspect to it it's not just someone stalking someone and then like popping out of a fucking cabinet and then like chopping them to little pieces that does nothing for me it'll never do anything for me. I know that that's like an unpopular opinion because everyone loves slasher movies. Slasher movies are some of the all time grossing horror films. Um, I just, they're not that entertaining to me. I don't care what Michael Myers is doing. I don't care that he seems to like grow by a foot each time there's a new a new sequel or a new movie. You know, I it's just, he's pretty much turned into the, like 
the abominable snowman or he's like pretty much bigfoot at this point walking around here he's gotten so comically huge he's not even a human being anymore so i mean it i just it just doesn't really do anything for me and sorry if that offends some of you this one is gonna be a bit controversial i was writing this down in my bullet journal and um i knew that someone i know that this is gonna piss a lot of people off but my next two actually are going to piss... My next three are going to piss people off, actually. Kids under the age of 10 should be on a leash when they're trick-or-treating. I'm sorry. I know that that sounds awful. I know that they're human beings, blah, blah, blah. I mean, but for the sake of your child's safety, and because I don't want to go to jail for committing vehicul vehicular manslaughter by driving down the street at night and having little Timmy, who's hopped up on Twizzlers, sprinting out into the middle of the street and me accidentally hitting them and killing them. I don't want that on my conscience. I don't want that on your conscience. I, I think that kids should be allowed to trick or treat. I mean, I'm not gonna say that kids shouldn't be allowed to trick or treat, but the truth is that not every parent has the ability to keep their eyes on their kids at all times, especially at night when everyone's dressed up, it's too much. And for that, I think that children should be on a leash at night <laughs> during when they're trick or treating. I think that they should all be on some kind of leash or we need to have designated trick-or-treating zones or whatever, which they're kind of are, and I'm going to get into that in my next one. But I don't know. I just feel like for my peace of mind and for everyone else's peace of mind, we should just make it law that all kids have to be on a leash when they trick-or-treat. Number four, if you are going to participate in trick-or-treating and you're going to be a person that has candy, if you get the bags of mini candies, you fucking suck, okay? You have to... It has to be fun size or bigger, okay? Okay. Fun size, keywords being fun size or bigger, not the minis. The minis, in my opinion, are just a way of, they just make more trash. I mean, it's more wrapper than candy. There should be, when you're when you're buying things or you're giving things to people, especially candies, uh, the it should be a more, there should be more candy to wrapper ratio. That's just my feeling on it, okay? Um, there shouldn't be more wrapper than there is candy. That is f fucking stupid, okay? So fun size or bigger, or just don't fucking do it. Just turn your porch light off and don't, don't participate. Because getting handfuls of like those tiny little stickers, like who fucking wants to eat those? Like who needs those? Just fucking get fun size or bigger. They're not even that much more expensive. Like, yes, you'll probably have to get a couple more bags, but like, it is what it is. And if and if it really comes down to it, you can be one of those those people who don't let people fucking go in and grab their candy themselves or you like literally hand people the candy. It's like I mean if that if that's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do. Ain't no hate. Just uh I just think that they should be fun size or bigger. That's just my opinion. And last but not fucking least, my fifth unpopular opinion about Hollow's Eve. Why is it that if you live in like a nice housing development or a nice living development or in a gated community. I grew up in a gated community. Um, There's like 150 houses. Not that I'm like bad and bougie or anything. It was just like a gate. There was no guard or anything. It was just a gate. There was two gates and it was walled off. I mean, my, like most of suburbia, okay? Most of suburbia is behind gates now. Um, why is it that there's spontaneously thousands more children that live there on Halloween? Okay, I, and this happens now to this day too because I still live in a, in a place similar to like where I grew up. I swear to fucking God, I know everyone that lives here. There's not that many. There's only like 100 houses here. Why is it that when Halloween happens, there's like 5,000 kids that all of a sudden are, are here trick-or-treating? Like, how is that fair? Okay, how is that fair to the people that live here that like now we have to like get tons more candy and tons more shit for kids that don't even live in the neighborhood? Like, I, I that used to like bother the fuck out of me and it still kind of bothers the fuck out of me. I almost have half sense to like sit at the gate at the thing, check your fucking driver's license and be like, uh, who are you here to see? I mean, I'll be the guard that night. We'll have a one night guard who will sit there and like, you know what, if you want to trick or treat here, you got to pay $5. You got to pay $5 so we can we can chip that into the homeowners association so we can, you know, like maybe give a little cushion to all the, the homeowners out here that are having to pay their HOA fees. Because I swear to God, dude, you, you, it's like you wake up and the next day the kids multiply by five and you're like, there's no way, there's not even that many houses here. There's no way that all these people are having all these kids all of a sudden. Like there's no fucking way. I know, I know practically everyone that lives here. I know that, I know that car, I know that house has two cars max in that driveway every year all of a sudden there's five like i it's stupid i understand it's safer in the gated communities or whatever but it's like you know what if you if your neighborhood is is sucky and that and you know that is a real thing then i don't know go to the boys and girls club and trick-or-treat or go to the mall i mean shit the malls are dying anyway why not just pop on over to the mall 
and go trick-or-treating there because they do trick-or-treating things at the mall at least where i live they do trick-or-treating things at the mall so i mean th that to me that makes more sense it sucks that like the homeowners have to like go and get tons more candy to dish out because like there's all of a sudden there are maybe a hundred kids that live there and now there's like a thousand and they're everywhere and they're fucking on everything the grass is ruined like it just uh it just it bothers me it's something that i've never understood probably gonna get a lot of shit for this because i understand why you would want to go to a safer community or something you deem as safe i'm not gonna even go we can go into a whole argument about like is living behind a gate safer than not living behind a gate because to be real y'all are here now too so it's obviously not that much safer okay like i'm not saying you need to walk your kids down the busiest street and trick or treat but it's like i mean the shit they'd be safer in an apartment complex if you just went into like a five story high rise and just walk from from door to door that would be safer than walking around a gated neighborhood like you know shit i know some of the weirdos that near, li live near me so psh, I, you all you got to do is pull up that app and you can see all the sex offenders here bitch like it's not safe no matter where you go okay so i don't know those are just some of my unpopular opinions for Halloween. Some of them you may agree with and some of them you may not, but I just figured I'd get it out there because, you know, why not? So remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me some of your unpopular opinions about Halloween and things that you dislike or things that you find annoying, because I love hearing them, because I love complaining. So until next time, toodles.